All right, this is just a short little segment for missional community as well as small group Bible study leaders on the place of prayer in your leadership of your community. It's a really big part. If nothing else, you are going to be praying over the gathering of the people showing up. I mean, there is something spiritual that's about to take place. You have some anticipation that God wants to do something in people's lives and that you very much need the Holy Spirit to be the one to do that in their lives. And you as the leader just happen to call the gathering to session and you're going to be opening the scripture and you're going to be speaking into people's lives. And so in, before everyone shows up, invite God to be the first one to show up. Invite him to have his way, confess your need to him, and hand that anticipation to him all over again of, God, here's what I really hope happens among us tonight. At the same time, I find it's important to pray after the gathering as well. Based on what you saw happen and take place, it shouldn't make impressions on your heart of where God's going with this community next. So you turn that to him in prayer, both before and after the gathering. Now, during the gathering itself, there's all sorts of different ways to approach prayer. I mean, one of the classic ways is to just kind of go around the room and take prayer requests, and just people can list off anything that they'd like. That's not my favorite way of doing it, especially because if you just give people an open slate, a lot of times their prayer request is the list of here's who's sick and hurting in their lives. It doesn't have much to do with themselves, aside that they're worried about someone. Now, there's a place for stuff like that, but I would rather hear more about what's going on in their life. Not just the sore spots, but what's the spiritual spots of where God's trying to grow them. So one of the things that I would encourage you to do is make space in each of your gatherings for people to ask, answer a simple question like, what is God most doing in your life right now? And how can we help? It's out of that that I think, without even saying, what's your prayer request, that we found what the main prayer request is for them. And then I like doing our prayer times out of that time of, of transparency. It just naturally lends itself there. And if you want to make it a list, you can still make it a list. I think another way I've done it from time to time is to say, hey, who do we need to pray for for their spiritual lives? So if we're going to pray for other people, praying for other people is great. But let's pray for what really God needs to do in their life from the inside out. So asking them, what do you see God doing in your everyday circle right now? How can we join you in prayer? Those are just a couple of ways, three different ways to uh, freshen up how you do your prayers inside your missional community gatherings. Now there's some other places for prayer as well that aren't just about uh, the gathering itself. I think that a lot of prayer goes into the homework time of what you're studying in advance, um, at the end of the day, the discussion you lead with people, I don't know that you need to be praying over what to share with them. What you're going to share with them has come out of what God has done first with you. Like if you haven't received it from God, there's nothing for you to give. I think the big prayer comes down to how do I turn this into a discussion? How do I lead someone with the questions and the concepts that lead them to the self-discovery, God, that you gave me in your presence right now. How do I recreate this experience so that they can grow with you in the way I have through the scriptures I just read? So when you're in preparation for your discussion, I think your main prayer request, God, is how? How do I present this? And um, last of all, I'd say there's a lot of place to pray for people personally. You as a leader, at, at least once, between one gathering and the next, almost like there's a list in front of you, whether it's just in your mind or actually written down, to say, God, just give me a picture of where this person is at. What's the spiritual need in their life right now? Make it a quiet kind of thing, a listening sort of thing. And as God forms an impression on your heart of how he's discipling them right now, changes how you pray, and that in turn is going to change how you lead them the next time you gather together.